Good Sunday morning to you. Roger Hill of Weathering Heights, Velco Weather Hazards Forecaster. This weather outlook is valid through 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. This particular period, we're looking at really not a whole lot going on for the next couple of days as we have a ridge of higher pressure that's uh, providing some pretty decent weather overall. It's this next frontal boundary that's going to work on through. It's going to take about uh, two and a half days to even get in here. And it looks like the arrival time will be along about late in the day on Tuesday or say late Tuesday afternoon. And uh, it looks like the bulk of uh, showers and some active thunderstorms working on through during the nighttime Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Also some locally heavy rainfall. The other thing we're looking at is finally the tropics have become a little bit more active. We have some tropical uh, uh, cyclone issues to worry about here or just to watch at this point in time. This will not affect the eastern seaboard during this outlook period, but very potentially it's looking like maybe the next outlook period could include a tropical cyclone beginning to work up the eastern seaboard. We'll have to watch that very carefully. That's a long ways out in the meantime. Uh, temperature wise, we're looking at uh, really dew points that are really feeling good right now with uh, dew point temperatures in the 50s. But uh, this sort of uh, Bermuda high with its circulation coming in out of the southwest is going to promote higher dew point temperatures over time. And also we're going to see those uh, conditions begin to warm up. We don't have any real heat indices to worry about right now. But this is going to be creeping up into our neck of the woods, accompanied by some deep humidity. And that looks like that's going to add to some fairly oppressive conditions once we get into Monday and Tuesday. So heat indices will be in play as well. Tuesday night, that frontal system then moves on through and then things uh, cool down and become refreshingly less humid. There is a little secondary system that's going to work through on Thursday, providing a few more showers. By the end of the work week on Friday, however, the end of the outlook, it's looking like we're back into a very nice area of higher pressure, and that's going to set the stage for probably Saturday and Sunday beyond this outlook period with some nice weather at that point in time. Let's take a look at the modeling. On the left-hand side, we have the European model. On the right-hand side, we have the GFS Ensemble. This is the European Deterministic. Comparing notes, this is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon on Sunday. We have a little bit of precipitation off to the south and west of us. It's going to diminish out and not be a factor for us. We have two very nice days ahead with a warming trend, but increasing amounts of humidity, especially once we get into uh, the late afternoon, uh, late today, and especially on Monday and into the day on Tuesday. Fairly oppressive stuff at that. Now, this is valid uh, during the night tonight. It looks like that area of higher pressure still control, strong influence. No worries for precipitation issues. We're watching this sort of formation here of some jet stream energy catching up to what will be a frontal boundary. It'll produce an area of low pressure, and this is some pretty good jet stream energy here, and begin to set up showers and thunderstorms that will be triggered out ahead of it, working into this very warm and humid air mass. Now, it looks like it's a late arrival, as you can see, just kind of timing-wise here. This is valid 03Z. That would be uh, a 10 11 o'clock in the evening. So this is a fairly late arrival, uh, mostly at night, and that is probably going to cut down on the intensity of the thunderstorm activity with a loss of daytime heating prior to that. But uh, still, we could still see some fairly strong, potentially severe thunderstorms out ahead of that that could develop in the very warm and oppressively humid air mass at that point in time on Tuesday afternoon. The front moves on through, a little bit of a secondary disturbance uh, tracks uh, just behind it on Thursday. And then once that moves on out, we're looking at a nice area of higher pressure building back in for Friday. And it looks like that's going to linger uh, beyond the outlook period for Saturday as well as Sunday and maybe even into the following Monday. So uh, maybe three days of dry weather, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday looking long range. Now the other thing I want to call attention to, this is a tropical cyclone that, that has been uh, on the European uh, for quite a while now, about uh, two, no, I'm say about four model runs. And it looks like uh, this could be playing a role. This is the last uh, last frame we have, and this is long ways out. We're talking Wednesday, the, sep the uh, 7th of September. It's actually Tuesday night. So Tuesday night next week, potentially, we could be seeing a system beginning to affect the southeast uh, coast. This would be the first tropical cyclone uh, that's basically taken a hiatus for the month of August. That'll be taking place, it looks like, in the early part of September before hurricane peak season, which is approximately around the 10th. You're looking at the GFS model uh, ensemble centered on Montpelier, Vermont. 
one major day of precipitation. That's going to be that uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and potentially some strong to potentially severe thunderstorms out ahead of that for basically Tuesday afternoon. That's the main signal here. A little bit of a signal seen here with the GFS Ensemble. The European has, again, a little bit of light rain showers uh, as a weak disturbance works through on, on Thursday. Following that, we dry things out. And GFS Ensemble gives us uh, roughly about 5,500 or 6 tenths of an inch of total precip. This, again, the grid point at Montpelier. The uh, deterministic G GFS uh, a little bit reduced, so uh, trends are coming back down just a little bit. Now, I mentioned that uh, some of the rainfall could be uh, locally heavy with uh, high P watts, precipitable water metrics. And you can see P watts uh, up around 1.6 inches and then a sharp, sharp drop and much drier conditions thereafter. And that's why we're going to have a very nice dry trend here once that little secondary system works on through on Thursday. Things are looking really nice as we head into next weekend. You saw precipitable water. Now that's CAPE, Convective Available Potential Energy. And then putting shear over the top of that. We're looking at shear roughly about 30 knots. Uh, looks like it rises after the front moves on by. So that's a little bit offset. You can see that the west and even the desert southwest has really, really dried out with a lot of the moisture coming in from Mexico and being sheared out and into the northeast United States. Hence that system coming at us on Tuesday night. University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer showing our anomalous temperatures and what you can see here is a little bit warmer above, a little bit warmer, uh, quite a bit of warmer up around the southern Hudson Bay. Some of that's going to be working on in and all of this is going to combine over the northeast United States ahead of that frontal boundary. Moss meteorological output statistics, uh, high temperatures only show us uh, about three to six degrees above normal. And that's over the next five days. Three days later, we climb that up just a little bit. This is the European Ensemble uh, Tropical Cyclone Analysis uh, projections, actually. And this is our system to watch. You can see another healthy wave coming off the West African coast. The Azores high, the Bermuda high kind of weak, so this is probably going to take a track a little bit faster but we'll see. It looks like a, a lot of our um, plumes here, uh, the model ensembles want to take it basically toward Florida. Some of it want to take it a little bit stronger in these greens with higher winds, a little bit more out to sea. We'll see what happens, but this is as far as we can go, and uh, that is valid again. It looks like on Wednesday or Tuesday night, a week from Tuesday night. And this is that system. We have about a 30% chance of a tropical cyclone spinning up uh, over the next uh, 48 hours, two days. We have this system that's out to sea. It's not going to hurt anybody. And uh, this will be the one to watch. And then that second African wave, that's another one to watch. National Hurricane Center uh, showing about a 70% chance of a tropical cyclone over the next five days. And we'll be watching. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.